Hey guys, this is gonna be my 2019 uh, Pin That Palette update. Number two. Yeah, number two. I'm filming this right after I filmed my... I'm probably gonna always just film, like, the update for my first ever project pan and then film the palette after just because it's easier for me. And, yeah. And I actually forgot to take a picture after... I filmed the other update, and then I used the palette, and then I actually, and then I hit pan like really quick before I could take a picture, so I don't have a picture to show you from last month. So I'm gonna remember to take a picture though this time. Okay, <laughs> so um yeah, but yeah, I'll show you the palette. Like it's just and well, bam. So first off, I guess I'll I'll talk about these these two and these two. I, I I emptied and I made them into a loose setting powder. I did have to mix in a lot of white and like a pink eyeshadow and like make it like more like my skin. But I can make it work now. And those were all shades that were like barely anything on on me like if I swatched it on my hand you could tell like there was color to it like but just a little bit so I just I used all those for to uh make that and then um and then I also what what shades were I working on this month oh yeah I hit pan on this one this one seriously um is that the right one yeah this one I hit pan in after using it one time and that's just so like that's like crazy to me that I I used it once and then I hit pan on it and then I was like I did not think it was that close but yeah I used it once and then I hit pan I have expanded the pan a lot during this month too because the first time I hit pan it was only a little bit but now I've I think I have a good chunk of pan in it and yeah this shadow is pretty soft too. Like some of these shadows are pretty soft and then some are just harder. I don't know. That's probably just because it's an elf palette and maybe elf palettes just have that. Especially in these 100 color ones. But yeah. And then the other one I was focusing on this month is this brown. Which I have a good chunk of pan in too. I also started using a, a new, I used a new eyeshadow brush twice. And I feel like it kicks up a lot more product than the brush I usually use. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use it all that often. I might use it once in a while because I really like that brush. Because you usually use like a brush like, like this. And then the brush I, um, I was using is more of a circle, round, like one of those brushes that people usually use. You know, the round, like blending brush or whatever. I got it in a profusion palette and it's like a double ended one. And that one I just feel like it kicks up a lot more product. So I don't know. I don't know how often I will use it but yeah. But I have the this one got a pretty good size pan in it now. I'm pretty happy with both of these. Like this one I hit pan in after like three uses too. So these two I hit pan in right away. And then the other shade I decided to work on this month is this gold shade, which barely has any uh, any pan. Like, you see, you see that tiny bit of pan right there. That took so much use out of it. Like I had to use it over and over and over again. I was like getting sick of it. I was like forcing myself to use it. I was like, so I think these shimmers just will take longer than the mattes because I feel like the mattes, the mattes are usually pretty easy to blend out and stuff but usually I have to build the mats a lot like I usually have to like the shimmers I need to use wet but still I feel like the shimmers like if, if I put some on the brush it just like glides across my lid in like one sweep and it's like fine if it's wet um but the mats like I usually have to build it up two to three times and then so I feel like the mats are just the uh, walk through quicker um, and then I also was trying to kind of work on using this as a blush, getting that used up more, 
But I kept reaching into the. I think I reached into this one more than I reached into that one. But I feel like the dip is slightly lower. I don't know. And this one. The shade is the shade I use for my brows. And I've been slowly trying to get that corner up above cleared out. It's almost there. And I'll probably continue to just try to clear out that corner. And then go from there. I don't know. And then I was originally to pick different shades to walk on for this next month. Which uh, I'm wearing the shades that I originally was to walk on today. It's like some green shades. Like the shades I was to originally work on was to be this this um greeny brown shade, this uh greeny gold shade, and then this dark green kind of shade. And I have all three of those on my lid today. I did like this in the crease, and then I did like this over that just to make it a little bit more green. And then I put this on the lid. And in the, in the corner. I really am loving this, like, greeny gold shade. But, um, this past week, I've actually been, um, really drawn to the blues. So, I'm like, I think I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pick blues now. And then I'll probably do greens after. Because I have, like, I think three or four combinations of shades that I can pick one after the other after the other. Because I already know... A couple shades that I work, want to work on like together as ones. So yeah. So the shades I'm going to work on is this purple shade. Which is so close to hitting pan. I won't, will be, won't even be surprised if I use it once and then hit pan on it. It's like so close. I haven't even touched it since like that first update. Just because I'm like it's going to be hit pan soon. And then the next shade is the shade that I'm going to work on. It's like a pretty periwinkle color. And it's a shimmer, and it's so pretty. And I'm probably not going to force myself to, like, hit pan on it if it doesn't happen, like, super quick. But I'm still going to work on it because it looks really pretty with this shade. And then the next shade I have is this kind of turquoise kind of color. And, like, these two shades are basically the same shade. But, uh, yeah, this one has a little bit of a dip and... Those three are going to be the ones I'm going to work on this month. And I'll swatch them for you too. So you can get an idea. This purple does not swatch well though. I think I'm going to need to build this up a little bit. Uh, but yeah. The purple, the periwinkly, bluey shade... And then the uh, tealy kind of shade. And those are the three I'm going to work on and try to hit pan on this month. I don't know if this one will go and be hit pan on cut because of how difficult gold was. But I'll probably get pan in at least the other two. And then maybe go from there. I don't know. So those are the three I'm going to work on this month. And then I also want, want to probably do that. And I probably won't get much progress on this as a blush because this is like more of a peachy warm tone blush, blush but I'll probably continue to use this with the blues and also and it will also probably make me not wear um this brown pencil a lot because like blues and that warm tone brown just doesn't really go together that well so I don't know but I really want to work on these blues that's what I feel drawn to right now so I'm gonna work on the blues and and this is pretty like I can use all three of these in a look or I could use like them individually too because usually I use if I the three shades I picked last month like I use them all in the look maybe once or twice and then I would use them individually just be like I want to use this shade with like with like this shade or something and then I just jump around the palette most of the time like most of the time I just like, I'm like, I, I pick a shade to start with, and then it's like, I just jump around the palette and do, like, whatever. Because I like, I like being able to just reach for whatever I'm feeling. But I also want to, like, work on certain shades, too. So, three shades in is a number that I can use them all three in a, one look, or I could, like, 
go and like just look put one in the crease and then like throw two other shape two or three different other shades on or something and also I'm probably gonna repress this and this together um probably probably after this or maybe before the next update I think I'll, I'm gonna repress these two into one pan I'm gonna probably repress them into this pan so then this row is just completely empty so yeah I'm gonna be repressing those two into cause this one is this one the white yeah this one's the white and then this one's the off white and this one's a softer pressed than this off white one and I've been using the off white one more cause lately but yeah I'm gonna repress them into one I'm gonna repress them into this pan and then I don't know I feel like I'm doing really good with this pot palette though. I feel like I'm really happy with it and I haven't yet gotten bored. Like I feel like there's still so many combos that I haven't done yet that I don't know. I feel like this was the perfect palette for me to start my like pan that palette journey with. And yeah. I feel like it's just a good palette. And if you like are a beginner, I would totally recommend like one of those elf 100 color palettes that they come out with like every year or something this was like this is my first palette ever this was my, this was a birthday gift to me and i feel like I, i'm getting so much use out of it so yeah i'm pretty happy with my progress so i'm just uh go now before i talk your heads off bye see you in another video